Welcome back to Block TV. This is Blockheads. We round up the top headlines from around the crypto sphere. Crypto Globe reports how central bank digital currencies could start circulating within five years. Politico reports how Facebook's Libra faces Eurozone backlash. Coindesk reports how leaked transcript details the power struggle inside Bitcoin mining giant Bitmain. You Today reports how just 2% of Brits own Bitcoin and want to buy more. And lastly, Cointelegraph reports how Chinese government unveils $140 million of blockchain subsidy fund. Starting off, Crypto Globe reports that a study done by IBM suggests that central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, as the cool kids like to call them, could start circulating within five years. Now, these coins would either complement or substitute the current banknotes and bills that we currently use. The report believes that the first central bank to do so will be in a country with a smaller and less complex economy, ruling out the top developed economies in the world. 73% of the central banks they polled are in favor of CBDCs, with 82% having concerns about the high-speed nature of digital currencies when central banks' jobs are to provide stability to its currency and economy. Secondly, they are concerned about the ability to not use the CBDC offline, as if it were, as if it were to pl replace cash, it would exclude people without an internet connection. Not surprisingly, over half of the central bank representatives involved in the study expressed concern about Facebook's Libra and how it could take power away from the central bank and undermine a nation's monetary sovereignty. Now, it must be noted that China has repeatedly said that it would be the first to launch a national digital currency. Politico reports that Europe's five largest economies are teaming up to stop Facebook's launch of Libra. France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and the Netherlands have all agreed to unite on this contentious issue. This is just the latest setback for Libra, as it already faces disapproval from the US lawmakers and its biggest partners such as MasterCard, Visa, and Stripe all dropped out of the Libra Association. Now, lawmakers worldwide fear that if Libra launched, it would undermine their currency's power and with it, their ability to control others using their currency. Facebook has committed to not launching Libra until they receive the approval of US lawmakers and regulators, but they haven't given word yet if they would wait for Europe as well. Coindesk reports that a leaked transcript from a meeting shows just how ugly things have gotten at the top levels of the world's biggest Bitcoin miner maker. The transcript shows that Yihan Wu, co-founder of Bitmain, explained to employees his reasonings for firing co-founder and former CEO McCree Ketuanzan. Wu, who stepped down from day-to-day -day involvement with the company in December of 2018, returned on Tuesday to helm the company once again and immediately refired Zan. According to the transcript, Wu told employees that, quote, Zan escalated what should be a disagreement on ordinary company business decisions to the levels of power struggle. Yikes. Wu also said that him and Zan haven't seen eye to eye since 2015, but the relationship fully soured in December of 2018 when Wu and three other founding members pushed for major layoffs and only Zan resisted. Zan allegedly tried convincing senior and mid-level management over to his side to little to no success. This failed mutiny is what caused both Wu and Zan to step down as co-CEOs and Bitmain moved ahead with the layoffs anyway. Ever since, Bitmain has been losing its dominant market share in both Bitcoin miner sales as well as its own mining pools. Wu has blamed this decline on Zan and his desire to pivot from mining to AI chip development. Zan believes that Bitmain could leverage its mining chip production expertise to become a leader in the production of AI chips. While Wu believes AI chip development has a role in Bitmain's future, he thinks that mining must remain its core business to support future investments like AI. In harsh words that highlight the bad blood between Wu and Zan, Wu told employees, quote, Zan doesn't love technology. He loves that feeling of fulfilling his endless desires for power. He doesn't love technology. He loves vanity. Folks, we have no other options but to keep Zan away from this company. Wu's speech must have convinced other major shareholders as Zan held 36% of the company, the largest single shareholder. You Today reports that just 2% of Britons who own Bitcoin want to buy more. More than 20% of Britons have never even heard of Bitcoin. 67% don't own Bitcoin and don't want to own it. 7% don't own it but want to buy. This isn't just a British thing either. The numbers are almost identical in America as well. 
This is just a poor showing for Bitcoins and a scary showing on this Halloween. Cointelegraph reports that Zhuangzi government, I hope that I pronounced that correctly, in China has announced a $140 million subsidy fund to help stimulate the development of blockchain projects. The fund will handpick two blockchain projects a year to sponsor. The Chinese government also plans on setting up a nationwide blockchain innovation contest with a prize of $1.4 million. Now, this all comes as President Xi Jinping urged the country to adopt blockchain, and China set itself up as the worldwide leader in the emerging technology. Well, that was Blockheads. Stay current, stay informed, and stay tuned at blogtv.com.